is general reading, this may or may not resonate, okay? If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Let's see what you can experience. So, brand new beginning in love, all right? Ace of Cups here. Either you're choosing to love yourself, this is self-love, or either you're starting a brand new beginning in love in a new connection, or this could also be a renewal in a connection that you've been struggling for a very long time, okay? We're going to clarify that. <clears throat> 21st, strength in reverse. You're giving up on something, okay? Something that needs a lot of strength, courage, stamina, that inner strength from you, something that needs a lot of strength, you're letting something go, okay? You're no more longer, to, longer wanting to control a situation and you're just choosing to love yourself, okay? Probably you were, you're someone who's trying to control the outcome, you know, for a very long time here. But yeah, there's something here where you're not wanting to put in the hard work or there's someone here in your environment who doesn't want to put in the hard work and just taking the easy way out. But I'm seeing this as someone who's trying to let go of control issues. 22nd, mm. bad mood, huh? Looks like there are some delays in a brand new passionate beginning, okay, within a connection here. But what I'm getting here is that you're choosing yourself probably. But yeah, with the Ace of Wands in reverse here, by uh, the 22nd here, there's going to be like this... Um, uh, roadblocks you know maybe you want to start something new maybe you want to start fresh you know you want a passionate beginning somewhere you want to move towards your passion but you're just feeling a little you're lacking motivation you're probably just going to be plain bored here uh 23rd queen of wands in reverse so yeah see <coughs> you're losing the motivation you're lacking the motivation could be in your career could be in love okay but you probably put in a lot of effort you you know you're very passionate about someone okay but now what you're doing is you're planning to just uh, take a step back from a relationship or a connection or a person where you have been very forthcoming, okay? You've been taking the lead in a relationship and now you're fed up, you're tired, okay? You're giving up here, you're choosing to love yourself right now and you're just losing that mojo, losing that spark and you no longer want to pursue something, okay? You're probably pursuing your own goals, you know? This time, it's not about you and the other person. You're just very focused on yourself. It's more like a private energy, you know? Focused on your goals, your goals focused on doing what you are passionate about but again this is more like an internal energy like i said right but you're definitely blocking your energies and not giving it to the other person something that you were trying to tame the situation you know with a lot of bravery and a lot of courage right but this time by the middle of the week here you're giving up okay uh you could be also very busy but there's too much going on in your plate also okay which is which to me tells me with the queen of wands and reverse that there are too many balls in the air and you're having a hard time balancing things <clears throat> but you could also be dealing with someone who you lack confidence in or you're losing confidence in a situation. That's why you're giving up. On the 24th, we have the sun in reverse here. Oh, la la. You're having a hard time staying optimistic about a situation here, okay? You feel left out in the dark. You want clarity. You're not getting clarity. Probably even there's no communication. I'm getting you could have probably gone through a separation, a breakup, okay? But something's just um, hit you hard and you're just, all of a sudden, you're just, completely withdrawn yourself okay but yeah with the sun and reverse here you probably want clarity you want to be illuminated but there's uh, there's a lot of things where you want to um, gain insight on but i think by the 24th here you're losing that hope okay you're getting more and more pessimistic about a situation here all right and could be someone you could be someone who has a lot of uh, unrealistic expectation okay but that's something that you can't do right have goals have passions, have dreams, but see too that your goals and your expectations are realistic, okay? This could also be you operating from your uh, ego. doesn't have to be, but yeah, that is a little bit of an immature, but a little bit of egoistic energy. So does the strength in reverse show that. 25th, four of cups in reverse here. You're moving forward from something, okay? Something was a missed opportunity with you, and you're like, you know what, now, nah, okay? It is what it is. And you're letting something be a missed opportunity. Anyways, there was something that was really boring you. You were really bored with. And um, <coughs> probably this person that you're dealing with, this was someone who uh, either this relationship was very boring or this was just someone who was giving you a lot of emotional breadcrumbs, okay? And um, so, yeah, so I feel that there's someone here who was giving you emotional baits, etc. Okay, and you were very focused on the negative part of the relationship here. But yeah, we're going we're to need to clarify this. But I feel that either you're finding that motivation, you're ending that stagnation that has come. <coughs> you're finding that enthusiasm to be proactive, either in, if you're single, either within yourself, okay, within the environment around you, or 
if you're in uh, a relationship, right? If you're wanting to be a little proactive, okay, you're trying to see things from another point of view. You're trying to focus on the positive. You have gratitude, all right? Or you're get feeling very re-energized here by the end of the week here, okay? You're probably letting go of any kind of regret, okay? If you're very isolated, you're letting that all go and you're wanting to start fresh. 26, the yeah, see page of swords and reverse here. There is either someone here around you who's keeping a look on you, keeping watch or keeping a tabs on you. You know, this is watching, looking, spying, keeping tabs on you. But again, they still, they have nothing else to say. Okay. But someone who's not going to talk. But this is a very, very defensive partner here. Okay. Someone very argumentative, but someone very, sh very, very harsh also in their talks. Okay. But yeah, this person is watching you from a distance here. But again, see the energetic difference. You probably wanted this person to take action and things probably just didn't work out between you guys. Okay. And now you've just completely lost the entire um, um, interest. Okay. I'm getting lack of interest in this person here. Okay. Whilst this person, you guys are on your own way. They see you not putting in the work, <coughs> but they're still watching you. Okay, They're watching you from a distance, but they still have nothing to say. Either they're doing most research, but this is just someone okay, who is just gathering more information. They know it, it's them. They need to talk about it, but they're going to choose to keep quiet about it. Okay, Just someone who just thinks they know it all and they think they're doing the right thing, but actually they're not. The theme of the week is five of pentacles in reverse here. So yeah, either there's a situation here where there's someone who, is, who you've iced out. Okay. Someone who you've left out in the cold, someone you're giving a cold shoulder to, this person wants to come out of the cold and come towards you. This is someone who's very codependent on you. Okay, They cannot tolerate the fact that you're no more giving them the attention that they want or no longer putting in uh, the effort and taking action towards them because you're being very laid back. Okay, Earlier you made shit happen, now you're just letting shit happen. All right. But yeah, or this is just somebody who's wanting to come towards you, like I said, coming out of the cold. They want to return back to you or this is just you. Who's just wanting to get over whatever happened? You could be dealing with someone who makes you feel very lonely in the relationship. Again, you could have felt uh, left out by someone and you're just wanting to move forward. Okay, we'll see once we clarify. So, yeah, you've been struggling, you know, with the feeling of abandonment, feeling left out in the cold, you know, feeling unloved by someone. But I feel that this is an improvement. Okay, you're finally letting go of a relationship that made you feel like that. Let's see. Um, tell me, why the Ace of Cups? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Yeah, Hermit in reverse. So, <clears throat> you probably isolated yourself, okay? Or there could be a period of um, no communication between you guys. But there's definitely you coming out of that mode of isolation. You've had some kind of an epiphany, an epiphany, you've had some kind of a realization and that realization has helped you realize that you need to love yourself in order for someone else to love you first, okay? So, yeah, it looks like either if you had a breakup, okay, with your partner, this is probably a sign that you want to get back to your partner, okay? You want to get back to this person coming out of isolation, which is again that the five of pentacles in reverse. Or if you've been single for a very long time, right? I think you're wanting to put your, your fears aside. And you're wanting to put yourself out there again in the world, all right? But yeah, with the Ace of Cups and the Hermit in reverse here, I feel that after a period of isolation, you're uh, definitely um, wanting to choose yourself first, okay? Oh. Okay. <clears throat> what? Why? What is the strength in reverse? What is the strength in reverse? But you don't have that uh, strength. You're tired of dealing with the situation over and over again. And I don't know why I keep getting that you're now choosing to be yourself after that period of loneliness and, you know, going into your corner and going into your nutshell and doing a lot of thinking. See, you're choosing to love yourself. You're giving up on a situation, okay? And uh, wanting to work on yourself now, okay? So your focus is you. See, that's what I'm getting, Gemini. Your focus is only you, 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 and you, okay? This has nothing to do with the other person here. You're uh, <coughs> wanting to give up on a situation that probably you've invested a lot in, okay? You've been, like, literally obsessively wanting to work on this connection, but finally you're just fed up, tired of dealing with it, and you're just like, screw it, okay? I mean, this definitely is something that, you know what, you lo no longer want to control something that you've been working on to for a very long time. But yeah, you're trying to keep yourself busy here and not wanting to control the outcome. You're just more like another goal, let it flow, you know. 
Uh, why the Ace of Wands in reverse? <coughs> yeah, see, you're choosing yourself, you know, Gemini. This is so lovely. You're having a hard time, okay? You probably look, okay, so I'm getting that you're lacking that motivation, like I said, you're lacking that enthusiasm, okay? By the 22nd, you're lacking the enthusiasm here to work on your goals, okay? Probably there's a routine that you're very, very bored of and you're doing the same old thing again and again. Or you lack the enthusiasm to work towards a connection, probably a connection that was very, very slow moving, okay? Or there was someone here who was very slow moving towards you and you were just fed up of waiting for them, okay? But there's something here which tells me that you're, you're just uh, not feeling it right now, okay? Probably it's like a false start, okay? And uh, it's like get set and it's like no, you know, it's like that, you know, you want something, you know, you're very passionate about it, but uh, uh, when it comes to taking action towards it, you're just too bored. But yeah, I think your um, aspect, your approach is going to be very slow moving. You're taking baby steps and still trying to work on yourself. Okay, but I don't think this is someone wanting to work to uh, you wanting to work towards someone else. This is more you. You know, your focus is more you. You're slowly trying to you know take the steps and go within yourself, but more focused on your routine and structure. You want to get back to your routine. Because you've probably had a lot of false starts with someone. All right. Why the Queen of Wands in reverse? Why the Queen of Wands in reverse? <coughs> Why the Queen of Wands in reverse? Why the Queen of Wands in Why the Queen of Wands in reverse? Swords, yeah, see, you're, you you stop completely. See, page of swords here, page of swords in reverse here. So for you, you know there's someone stalking you. Okay, Gemini, let's just take it out of that. So you feel that, yeah, you know, um, <coughs> you're definitely not taking action towards someone, but there's someone you're dealing with here who's <coughs> very immature when it comes to communication, okay? This person is watching you from a distance, okay? They probably are trying to find out more about you. They're keeping tabs on you, but they definitely see you as someone who's completely cold back, okay? You could be uh, lacking self-confidence because this person and you, uh, you know, have gone their different ways. But I'm seeing more as this as you're lacking that energy, <coughs> lacking that uh, confidence, okay, when it comes to this person. Your focus is you, you know? You're completely wanting to take charge of yourself. And instead of focusing on this person, now your focus is more on yourself, okay? Uh, but uh, yeah, you're being very selfish with uh, your uh, investment with this person whilst this person is watching you. And you already know that this person is someone who's very immature, but you don't really give a shit right now to this person. Like they can watch all they want, but they are not getting any of you. Uh, what's the sun in reverse? What's the sun in reverse here? You could be being very diplomatic right now, okay? Or you're probably even wanting to, you're probably even playing with this person's emotions, okay? But the yeah, Queen of Wands in reverse is somewhat very temperamental, but someone who plays a lot of mind games here. So yeah, there's something going on in your head, okay? <clears throat> Maybe you have an idea that's cultivating, or this is just you who's just being diplomatic and, um, um, you know, trying to, you're probably even playing mind games, head games with this person who's watching you from a distance. But definitely someone immature <coughs> when it comes to communication. Tell me what's the sun in reverse? What's the sun in reverse? There could have been some information that came in. Okay, there could have been some con conversation that led you to being like this. Okay. Tell me what's the sun in reverse? See, devil. Yeah. <coughs> There is a negative pattern around this situation, okay? There's something that you feel very changed to and you just feel you cannot get rid of this person or this situation. Whoever you're dealing with is super toxic, super toxic, okay? And you're having a hard time trying to gain clarity or trying to get rid of this person. <coughs> you know they're toxic, okay? It's like that chain, you know, you feel chained to this person. You know they're not good for you, but it's going to take a lot and lot of lot of energy from you, a lot of determination from you in order for you to remove these chains and free yourself from this person here, okay? And that's something you're not being able to do only because you're overly confident that things are okay or because you're just not being able to find that um, 
you know, that confidence. You're lacking the confidence in wanting to do it, which is again putting you in that state of depression and sadness here. So be very careful about that, you know. If not, this devil is also a negative pattern, okay? You're probably being very um, <coughs> negative about the situation here. So something needs a very lighthearted approach here, okay? But again, <coughs> but... Um, you're lacking this enthusiasm, okay? That's, again, like I said, right? Unrealistic expectations could be ego, you know? You're, uh, but, um, again, there's sadness around the situation, okay? Around a situation which you feel very stuck to. No matter, it can be two ways. Either you let go of someone, okay? Who you still feel very connected to and it's driving you nuts because it's very toxic or this is just you who's constantly repeating a negative pattern maybe every time you guys split you know and you just get obsessed with this person all of a sudden you know which puts you in that mind space of sadness and depression so be very careful about that that's a lot of overthinking a lot of codependent energy coming up by the end of the week here on the 24th tell me why the four of cups in reverse yeah you're working on yourself you're probably even learning new skills here okay but yeah you're learning of a partnership go okay could be a partnership where there was a third party involved here or this is just which was something which was a one-sided situation right and you're letting it go you're letting it go because it was a one-sided situation and you're looking for partnership okay you weren't getting what you wanted from this person lack of uh commitment okay uh, lack of putting in the work you know that effort that two people put in to build something together right it was just not happening you could be dealing with someone who's just not a team player okay someone who does not like to work with you or you were just having a hard time collaborating with this person and by the 25th for you it's like you know what let it go a lot of release this week a lot of release all right why the page of swords in reverse why the page of swords in reverse Tell me why the page of swords in reverse. Ah, say, this is the loser you're dealing with, all right? Page of swords in reverse with ace of wands. All right. Someone's watching you. Yeah, if you're if you're thinking about someone who's watching you, yeah, that this is the same person here. Okay, that's the same person. It's just that here you know they're watching. Okay, <coughs> doesn't have to be, but this could also be um, a lack of motivation and communication with someone. This is failure to communicate. But there's definitely someone who's watching you from a distance. They want a clean slate with you, okay? With Ace of Wands here. But if you're expecting this person to come in and talk to you, they're not going to do it, okay? They're still being, they're very defensive. Probably this person's screwed you over or has done something wrong. But this person is in a very defensive, paranoia mode and they feel whatever they say is going to be taken against them, okay? So yeah, they want a brand new beginning with you, but they're not going to say it. They're not going to say it. <coughs> Looks like this is the same person who wants to come back here. That's the theme of the week here. Someone who you're just ignoring for a very long time. But yeah, someone wants that beginning with you, but they want to open their mouths. I'd say someone can watch you from a distance and they're better watching you from a distance and, uh, you know, loving you from a distance is better, something like that. Tell me why the Five of Pentacles in reverse? Why is the theme of the week the Five of Pentacles in reverse for Gemini? Definitely <coughs> two things. Either you're wanting to let go of a relationship, like I said, right? But you felt very lonely and you didn't feel a part of the relationship. You know, you felt like you were the only one doing everything. And you're finally getting focused on yourself with the Queen of Pentacles, on your growth, your stability, your security. And you're very, very, uh, I'm getting, uh, you are your own priority. Or you're just dealing with someone who sees you as marriage material. This is someone who wants to marry you, someone who wants commitment, something long term. And they're wanting to return towards you. But if it comes to communicating, I don't think this person's going to communicate. <coughs> there is going to be a communication gap here for this week here, okay? I don't see communication coming in. I don't even see you making a, um, a move forward towards this person, okay? Because, yeah, you're pretty pissed off here. And for you, Ace of Cups, you're like, you know what? I know what I want and my focus is me. And this is my time for self-love. And that's what you're doing this week here, okay? You're having a hard time letting this toxic person go because they're still in your energies here. But it uh, looks like uh, by the end of the week here, by the 25th here, right, you're probably not going to stick in that stagnant energy here, you know, where you're constantly contemplating or, you know, you're just constantly focused on what did work out in the relationship. For you, it's probably like let it go, you know, let that shit go. I'm wanting to open up to new opportunities either in your love life if you're single or just focused on something else overall. <coughs> 
but you definitely don't want to stay in this rut because you realize that you're going to keep missing out more opportunities if you stay isolated and you know completely alone on your own and you know just sulk in that energy and mope in that energy okay so yeah Gemini looks good work wise looks looks like you're just very much focused on you whilst this person wants to return back to you for sure right but I think you're too focused on yourself you're not really giving them um you're not paying any heed to them You could also be dealing with someone with the Ace of Cups as a hermit here in reverse, right? One thing I, I mean, it, that just got my attention. If this is not you, this could also be someone who ghosted you, okay? And they've had that period of isolation. They've had that period of uh, enlightenment. And now they want to come back towards you uh, with this proposal of wanting to start new, okay? Wanting to open up to you, you know? Wanting to be emotionally vulnerable to you. But you've already given up on this person, okay? Just wanted to put that out there. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.